hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl sasa if you're new to this channel don't forget to like and to subscribe to my retaining subscribers thank you so much so in today's video we are going to make beef bones the zimbabwean way so obviously i remove them from the pack and then i put them in the pot i just rinse them because i don't really know the hands that last touched the bones okay um then when we've done that i put them or the pot on fire for the bones to boil a bit obviously i add water uh, to boil they should boil the bones must be tender not very hard okay guys so if you want to learn how to cook the zimba way this is the video for you guys to watch and yeah stay tuned stay tuned guys <laughs> so you don't drown your bones in water guys make sure that you make sure that you put enough water uh, for the bones to cook i let them cook for about an hour before i actually attended to them so as you can see i've put them on the stove already and it's on high heat at seven they are my bones they are looking so i don't know i can't wait don't forget to season it to add your seasoning hello <laughs> so there you go i close the pot and then i go and attend to my other business i do other things as you can see i've returned to my pot still boiling yep it's still boiling so i leave until the water is almost finished then i remove that remaining water to make it my stock oh so i had to mute there because i just love singing just because i've got a beautiful voice <laughs> so i had to mute there because I, i'm singing a lot and yeah as you can see they're almost done the water is almost finished then i start frying As we're doing that, you know, as a woman, you need to learn how to multitask. Now I'm going to cook my sadza. There is my maize paste. We call it mili mil or hupu or impupu, whichever way you want to call it. And there is my kango pot, the zim pot. This one is in every household in Zimbabwe. I kid you not, guys. Even when people travel, you know, outside the country, they make sure to have this kind of pot. They are making my paste for the sats i want to make you can make it in different ways some use cold water from the beginning i use uh, hot water so that it, it um, bubbles up fast when i'm cooking so when making a paste for your sadza, you don't put too much mealy meal you just put just you know like uh, um, maybe half cup and then you add your water your paste must be in a pouring consistency when it starts to boil on the stove so watch as i'm doing this i'm i'm you know like i make sure that there are no lumps that's why you see me using a wooden spoon time and again we call it in goat and there i am attending to my to my bones my beef bones i cannot wait to eat guys because this is going to be so delicious i promise you and then i'm adding my oil obviously just a little you know don't put too much oil remember we've already put salt our seasoning so don't forget and add seasoning again so while my sada is doing what it's doing over there i am attending to the pot and then i'm adding my stock the one that i removed already as you can see it's got oil so there's no need for you to put a lot of oil So when my paste is sort of thickened, I close with a lid to make it um, a bubble. <laughs> I don't know what to call that, but we call it quarter. <laughs> or quarter in Isindebele. So whichever way. I don't know the right word for English, but guys, yeah, bubble is the next best word that I could come up with. Yeah, and then I close it for about 10 minutes. Um, then I'll come back and attend to it. While, meanwhile, I'm, I'm making my beef bones. We have 
magic, yeah. It was magic, yeah. Smash and grab shit, yeah. Nasty habits take a hold when you're not here. Ain't a home when you're not here. Are they growing? You're not here. I'm saying, I can't lose when I'm with you. How can I lose and miss the moment? You just do it, boy. Nobody do body like you do. I can't lose. Eh, the light sunlight from outside the lighting outside is almost going because remember it is winter from my side so i have to be as quick as possible you add your tomatoes you see you don't really need to fry bones but this is the way i prefer making them because i also don't like that smell of um meat that's just boiled and not really attended to and when i open my pot as you can see it's getting ready it's calling my name simply sasa come and cook so i went to the fridge to look for my green vegetables the ones that we use it's kovo it's the it's the tunga is the whatever but i realized that we don't have so what did, was i going to put on the side is a vitamin i had to cut cabbage this is what was this look at my sadza it is uh, bubbling like at my meat it's getting ready so let's see what we can do so we're going to use cabbage instead of the normal vegetables that we normally would eat our sadza with so yeah I don't want to lie to you guys this is one dish I really cooked with all my heart you know and I really cannot wait to sit down and start eating as you can see I'm almost done I've added my shallots in the end and so that the green doesn't go away then now look what it Okay, so now let's cook our sadza. Um, it is quartered enough, so we can go ahead and cook. I'm adding milli meal, as you can see. You add it bit by bit, not at once, so that it's not a brick. It mustn't be too hard. Um, yeah. We had she, yeah. It was magic, yeah. Smash and grab she, yeah. Nasty habits take a hold when you're not here. Ain't a home when you're not here. Are they growing in that hill? I'm saying, I can't lose when I'm with you. How can I lose and miss the moment? You just do it, boy. Nobody do body like you do. I can't lose. So yeah guys do you see how it's supposed to be like not too hard and not too uh pouring it mustn't be pouring but it must just be enough to you know like because we we mold the bowl right in our hands when we're about to when you want to eat sadza so yeah when you're done you close your pot you let it uh sit on the stove for about uh three to five minutes before you dish up okay it's sort of I don't know if you call it simmers, but it has to shinira. <laughs> now it's time to take up our pot for the cabbage that I want to fry. So I add green pepper, I add onions in the cabbage and a little oil. Obviously, and seasoning. So you don't over fry it. Just, yeah. See, as I'm adding the green pepper, the cabbage, the onion all mixed together, add seasoning. And then we cook, 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 cook. I touched that fire for you. I do that three more times again. I testify for you. I told I like you, that bitch. I do it all in a moment. I'm just kidding. Do it. I'm not. As long as you're joking, now we have to. Now my sadza is chinura that I've opened. I run it again with a wooden spoon with my mgoti. Then I've got my water there and that dishing spoon, that African dishing spoon. It makes the food 
so you know presentable as you can see i'm scooping it and i'm like sort of making molding it i don't know guys but the english oh it sometimes it runs away then you add your you add your meat your veggies and you are ready to eat guys so happy eating for me and my family so thank you guys for staying tuned i know i'm, I'm very funny but don't forget to like and to subscribe perhaps comment i'll catch you guys in the next video it is cheers from me guys bye bye Touch that fire for you. I do that three more times again. I testify for you. I told I like you, that bitch. I do it all, and I'm around. You're scared to do it. I'm not.